Why did I say that? Everyone must think I'm so weird. I shouldn't go to social events anymore. I always ruin everything. When you're trapped in a relentless cycle of thoughts, it can feel like there's no way out. These intrusive thoughts can disrupt your life, cloud your focus, and make it challenging to experience the joys of everyday living. Rumination can make you feel powerless, but there are some things you can do to break free and start feeling more in control. We'll go over five of these steps and find out how to stop ruminating. In a figurative sense, rumination is constantly rehashing negative or distressing thoughts. In the literal sense, the term also has its roots in the animal kingdom, where ruminating animals like cows chew their cud repeatedly over and over. In much the same way, when you ruminate, your mind is like a broken record stuck on repeat, often contributing to several mental health issues like depression, anxiety, and stress disorders. Let's take a look at four common scenarios to understand better how rumination works. Our first example is work mistakes. Imagine you're at work and you make a minor mistake on a project. Instead of correcting the error and moving on, you find yourself stuck in a loop of thoughts like, why did I make that mistake? I'm so stupid. My boss is going to think I'm incompetent. I'll probably lose my job. Example number two is social interactions. You go to a party and say something awkward. You're fixated on that moment for the rest of the night and into the following week. Why did I say that? Everyone must think I'm so weird. I shouldn't go to social events anymore. I always ruin everything. Example number three is relationships. After a breakup, rather than reflecting constructively on what you've learned or thinking about how to heal, you obsess over the questions like, why did they leave me? Was I not good enough? Will anyone ever love me? I'll be alone forever. And our last one is academic performance. Let's say you received a lower grade than expected on a test. Instead of focusing on how to improve, you keep thinking, I'm not smart enough. This is proof that I'll never succeed. What if I fail the entire course? As you can see, this type of thinking is harmful to our mental health and our self-esteem as a whole. Although some level of introspection or temporary rumination is healthy and necessary for personal growth, excessive rumination can be counterproductive and harmful. It traps you in a cycle of negativity, and rumination can also have a physical toll, such as sleep problems and worsening of chronic health conditions. I often see rumination happen automatically. These thoughts naturally infiltrate your mind, rapidly presenting with perceived threats. The crucial factor is how you choose to respond to these thoughts. If you attempt to problem solve your way through them, you're engaging in a compulsion, perpetuating the rumination cycle. Your brain thinks it's doing you a favor by helping you solve these potential problems. But what if the problem never existed in the first place? What if your brain is deceiving you? Tackling fear solely through thought is ineffective. My advice is to not engage with ruminative thoughts at all. Don't give them any power. Easier said than done, of course, but the question remains. How do you stop? Now that we've identified what rumination is and why it's harmful, let's explore five strategies to break free from this damaging thought cycle. If you find this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to see more life transforming content. I do appreciate it, so thank you. First is to be mindful in the present moment. We frequently find ourselves trapped in thoughts about the past or fretting about the future. However, we miss the present moment when we're lost in our thoughts. We can minimize these ruminating thoughts by becoming more mindful of the here and now. To engage more fully with the present, begin by cultivating awareness. Tune into your bodily sensations, become aware of your surroundings, and utilize your five senses. Focus on the nuances like the sensations of breathing in and out. Then work on adopting an attitude of non-judgmental acceptance. Achieve this by envisioning your thoughts drifting away, like leaves floating down a river or clouds passing in the sky. Slowly training ourselves to acknowledge and release these thoughts reduces the likelihood of becoming trapped in rumination. Another method to halt these repetitive negative thought patterns is to pause and pivot. Redirect your attention. Essentially, you predetermine an alternative action to take when you notice you're ruminating. Suppose you obsess over something negative, getting increasingly anxious or stressed. In that case, instead of attempting to outthink the rumination, which is unachievable, immediately engage in a different activity. You might opt for a quick jog, practice deep breathing, or even change your physical location. Doing so helps your mind shift focus and effectively disrupts the cycle of rumination. In other words, practice positive self-talk. When caught in a downward spiral of negative thoughts, uttering positive words might seem like an uphill battle. However, making a habit of using positive affirmations can be a powerful tool to combat this negativity and lessen the duration of ruminating thoughts. Over time, consistently repeating positive phrases can even rewire your brain to default 
to a more optimistic outlook, making it less likely for you to fall back into negative thinking patterns in the first place. The more you use positive affirmations, the more natural they will feel and the more ingrained they will become in your thought processes. Whether you're reciting these affirmations first thing in the morning, during a midday slump, or right before bed, make them a non-negotiable part of your day. Next is challenging your thoughts. Not all thoughts that cross your mind are facts or truth. These cognitive distortions include overgeneralizing situations, catastrophizing, imagining the worst case scenarios, or engaging in all or nothing thinking. To effectively challenge your thoughts, identify the specific cognitive distortion at play. Are you magnifying a problem out of proportion? Are you unfairly labeling yourself based on a single incident? Once you pinpoint the distortion, you can counteract it with more logical, fact-based statements. It can be beneficial to externalize your thought-challenging processes by jotting down your thoughts in a journal and then writing counter-arguments or discussing your thought patterns with a trusted friend or counselor. Putting your thoughts into words forces you to scrutinize them more closely, making it easier to spot inconsistencies or exaggerations. By making a habit of challenging your thoughts, you equip yourself with a mental toolkit that is useful for interrupting rumination. If rumination continues to weigh heavily on your mental well-being and disrupts your daily functioning, professional intervention can provide the specialized support and tools you need. Working with a mental health expert allows for personalized treatment where your unique emotional needs and triggers are considered. This specialized focus not only aids in dismantling the loop of rumination, but can also equip you with coping strategies. Whether it's learning how to manage stress more effectively, improve your self-esteem, or build healthier relationships, professional help can be a catalyst for broader and mental and emotional growth. Lastly is taking charge of your thoughts. Rumination can feel like an unending cycle of negative thoughts that takes a toll on your mental health. Thankfully, you're not powerless against it. From adopting a mindset of awareness and presence to challenging cognitive distortions, employing positive affirmations, and even seeking professional guidance, numerous strategies exist to break free from the loop of rumination. The journey to better mental health is a continuous process, and it's okay to seek help and employ various tactics to improve your emotional landscape. The first step is to recognize the need for change. With the tools and strategies outlined, you're well equipped to take charge of your thoughts and ultimately your life. Thanks for joining me today. Stay positive, friends.